Whew, almost tripped for a second, thought I forgot something, but that was it. That pretty much went perfectly. 180 experience for surviving the night. Got some sweet money, nothing got damaged, we leveled up. Great. 165 we have now. Okay, that was a, that was a good night. Let's continue. The sawmill. For obscure reasons, he's always he has always refused to divulge. Phidias Saint Corpod's father left his native land of Acadia to settle in the Wolvesville region, becoming the operator of a sawmill for the W. Hood Company. Since then, Phidias has taken over for his father, but the infernal beasts have made life difficult for the Acadian. They've been specifically targeting his mill for some time now. So that is probably going to be the third building for us to defend, I assume. Chapter 5, A Meal and Problems. The beast did a lot of damage last night. So I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Say, Phidias. Could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn, there's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? Me? Hiding something? As I live and breathe. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the downed tree that was blocking the main road. So you can easily get to the mill now. And then if you help me, I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sounds like a good deal to me. You can count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. Well, there you go. That's uh, one brother took that decision for the rest of them. A tutorial movie for the W. Hood Company is now available. Do you want to watch it? Yes, please. Chopping lumber. With access to the mill, you can now cut lumber for the W. Hood Company. Just click on the button to chop wood. Each time you chop wood, you receive money for your effort in exchange for action points. Action points that are lost this way are represented by the orange part of the gauge. Okay. Mo tutorial move for the spike traps now available. Watch it, yes, please. The spike trap. The spike trap automatically triggers as soon as three enemies are standing on it. This icon represents the amount of enemies standing on your trap. Wait, how much damage does that do? That's crazy. Okay, so this is the mail. Now you must defend the mail. The miller's help gives you additional action points, but if the mail's destroyed, you fill the night. God, that's not going to make things that much easier, is it? So we got two wolves, normal wolves, going for the house in the first wave, this is. We got a werewolf going for the mail. 30 hit points, very resistant to all personal weapons except those that are blast. And we got two grand wolves also going for the mail. Um, okay, we don't really have three enemies. 40 points of damage to every enemy. Wait, activated. Trigger it when three or more creatures are standing over it. Can injure you if you go over it while it is being triggered. Use sound, bait, bait or wind to attract the creatures onto the trap. Or else place it close to buildings to defend them while you're busy elsewhere. God. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a very tough night. We got another Grant Wolf going for the barn. We got two normal wolves going for the barn, a werewolf for the house, and a werewolf for the mill. How am I ever supposed to take care of this? That one's going for the farm, or the, the barn. Okay. This will take a little bit of planning. This one's gonna go around. See, I can take risks here and try to use the spike. I should probably start with the first wave though. Um, so we have a werewolf, two grant wolves going for that and then a werewolf going for it. And two wolves go for the house in pretty much a straight line. Since we're starting out the, at the house we should probably just go over there and just kill the wolves first before we head on to the mill to defend that. But we need to stall the werewolf 
and the two Krent wolves. But it would be awesome if we had a um, a spike trap to deal with every single one of them at the same time. That would definitely just make make life a lot easier on me. So that is going to be tough. I'm going to need a trap somewhere with bait. I just don't really know the range on bait. And this one's going from this side and then that one's going from, from that side. So I should probably put it there. I'm just going to take a little risk here and see if I can figure out the way this works. Now hopefully they're both going to go, or all three of them are going to go for that one. Spike traps are very expensive though. Will of the Wisp is uh, immune. We're not going to do anything against the two wolves because I can take care of those myself. And that would be kind of a waste. So that's the first wave. Kill wolves, go for the meal. I got it. And the second wave, it's not going to be easy to get there anyway. I'm going to have to go all the way over there. Um, I should probably, let's see, I should probably put another bait there. Like two of them. They're not expensive and that way I can make sure that they're going to stay there for a little while longer. Second wave, we got a werewolf going for the mill. We got a werewolf going for my house. We got a grand wolf and two normal wolves going for the barn. So I'm going to take the same approach. And just put a giant spiky trap there. There you go. Delete a trap. No, I don't really want to do that. I'm also going to put another one there. Boom. That should take care of the, uh, the the three of those. There's a werewolf go for the house. I should kill him myself. Using bait. And the net. But will net work? Let's put, let's see, that's 20 AP. I should probably, that's just one werewolf. That's not something I can't handle, I think. So what I'm going to do is a net is 30. This is 20. That's a lot of damage, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay, what if we delete the bait? Put a new one on top or underneath the net. And then, just in case that one fills, I want to have a bonfire there. And then we have to deal with the last one that is going to go to the mill. How are we going to do that, though? I should probably try and stall it right as it comes into the map. And then I'm going to try and kill it there. Using a net. And that's all she wrote. So let's cut some lumber. There we go. We're done. Uh, okay, let's just go over my plan. First night, kill two wolves. Got it. They're not going to go over there, so they won't ruin that one. Then run over to the mill and see the spiky trap will go off. I should probably remove that bait because it's going to interfere with my first... That's going to interfere with the first one, so that's not an option actually right there. Um... Can I take that back? I guess not. So... They're going to go over there into the spike trap. Second wave. That one. I should try and stop him in his tracks right here then. Before he even reaches the mail. I think I got it. So before he even gets the mail, we're going to try and stop him using this net. Which I cannot place. But, but why? This would work. That will work for me. Okay, let's remove that one. Place it under the net. Okay, back. First wave. House, kill wolves. Run to the mail. See if the spike trap works. If it doesn't, we're fucked. Uh, second wave. Run back to the house. Kill the werewolf. Obviously. Uh, so from the mail back to the house. Run. Then run to the barn. Try and see if, th if these guys die so it's house mail house barn mail okay stay uh start let's just see if i can do this i'm probably going to die um bloodthirst we can get the flying brace and bit some rage bonfires remain lit a bit longer gives you three more cents for a total of four cents that's not bad actually uh the beast now take 20 that is a great one. Let's go with that. That's going to make sure that the bait is way more efficient. 
And let's start the night, see how well this does. You're almost out of ammo. Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? Do I have money to buy... To buy stuff? Let's go to town. And get some bullets. Which are not that expensive anyway, so who cares? That should do it. Return to village. Go back to my house. And that should give us a good start to the night. Taking risks. Let's just do it. That's all I can do. There's no safe option in this game, I believe, so... Just gotta do what I can do. Okay, we're leaving the house. In the dead of night. Oh, what is this? Enraged. enraged. Certain enemies have a chance of turning enraged the more you attack them. Once an enemy is enraged, it's much more aggressive and is no longer affected by your fear factor. That, I don't like the, the sound of that. At all. Okay, so we're starting with the two wolves. Right over here. We're running to the... The ho uh, okay, so house and then mill. Am I right about where they're starting? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Die, bitch. Took that one out. Kill werewolf using all your traps. So I guess we did that. Didn't even have to go there. Awesome. Okay, so we can stay at the house and kill the werewolf. Kill the werewolf. Let's stay out of its range and use our gun for the net. There it is. That's the werewolf. It's going to run into the trap. Die, bitch. Dead. Is it? Okay, it's dead. Bait is being devoured. I just killed something. Okay, so I can run safely to the mill. Jesus. Bait is still being devoured. It's taking him quite long. I think it's just one werewolf, though, isn't it? Can't open the map anymore. Are you kidding me? That kind of blows. Okay. Still devouring the first bait. Let's reload my gun. Everything is still in pristine condition. It's still eating the bait. It is... Getting close while well, it's still... It's taking a while. It is taking a while. I'm not gonna interfere. Because if I do that, it's gonna come straight for me and ignore the second bait. Walk into my bait, little wolf. There he goes. He ate the bait. But he's still hungry. Obviously. There he comes. Eat the bait, little wolf. Boom. Oh god, it's coming straight for me. How, dude? What the hell? What the? Okay, well, I just smacked it right up there. That's the end of it. That worked out perfectly. You just have to kind of hope that your plan that you have set that it's gonna work. And that's pretty much all you have is hope and nothing more. Oh, we made some good money. You survived the night with at least three buildings still full health. Success, we went up a level, we got some sweet cash and experience. Sawmail is totally fine. Continue. My can warrior. At first glance, they, make, they may look like werewolves, but my cans are in fact a polymorphic people that often take on the appearance of bipedal wolves. While many Am Amerindians consider them to be a distant ancestor to all humans, the Mycans nevertheless seem to be strongly opposed to any white settlements on their ancestral lands, so they're racist. Characteristic. Very resistant to non-silver weapons. Awesome. Cannot be lured with bait, because they're like people. Recommended traps, hanging net, spike trap, firewall, sacred tree. So we have to have silver to kill them. Oh god, this is gonna be sucky. Chapter 6, Mysteries and Fury. 